I would like to tell everybody that I'm doing a 3500 crown giveaway. Uh, details are going to be down in the description if you are interested in joining. So make sure you do that. And yeah, thank you for watching and let's get started. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Smojo and welcome back to another video. So, you want to know the best possible way to farm all of the most needed reagents such as ore, stone blocks, scrap iron, mushrooms, etc, etc, etc. I'm going to tell you the best place right now. The number one best place in all of Wizard 101 to farm all of the most needed reagents is called the Shadow Palace. The Shadow Palace is a location in Chrysalis. Uh, you unlock it at the end of Chrysalis because uh, it, it's a gateway to getting into the Morgative's chamber uh, for you to fight Morgative. So if you haven't finished Chrysalis, you might not be able to get here, or if you're almost done with it, then you're pretty much almost able to get to this spot. I briefly farmed this place for a little bit. Uh, I did about three runs. If you guys don't know, the best way to actually farm this place is to go to this location, pick up everything, switch realms, pick up everything, and repeat. If you guys don't know, you can only switch realms every 30 seconds. So you have about 30 seconds to pick up everything, switch realms, rinse, and repeat. I did this about three times, which took you around a minute and 30 seconds and i got 15 comments i got three iron 11 stone blocks 10 ore and four deep mushrooms i put that into a little bit of calculations with the big brain and the you know the help of google or whatnot so if you farm this for 30 minutes it's going to be about 60 runs you're going to get about 300 comments 60 iron 220 stone blocks 200 ore and 80 deep mushrooms that's not counting the extra regions that you get from uh, certain items such as stone you can get diamond and uh, deep mushroom i believe you can get red mandrake and i'm pretty sure there's a few others that you can get out of the comments or maybe the the iron or whatnot but you could literally just take 30 minutes of your day and uh, get a lot of reagents that's gonna help you during your crafting quest or crafting whatever you're trying to craft if you guys don't know how to actually get to this place from the start of chrysalis uh first you're gonna go to want to be in uh, bastion which i'm pretty sure everyone's gonna be in bastion all you gotta do is do the little you know the marker at the bottom right go to bastion and you're in bastion after that you want to turn to the left uh you want to get past all of these little guys here and all the blue balls and you want to go up this hill this nice little uh, pathway this blue pathway and you want to go into the silent market it's a big black hole in the side of a wall that you want to walk through and it'll take you to the silent market after you get to the silent market you just want to you know keep straight uh you want to turn a little bit to the right go up the steps once you're up the steps you just want to keep straight uh you want to get past this big old beetle on the left there's just rock and everything like that and you want to keep right onto the the stairs that goes downward once you're on the stairs that goes downwards turn to the right you'll see a nice little waterfall with a little pond or whatnot and uh this is where all the teleporters are you want to enter the teleporter all the way to the right the last one in the cut all the way in the back that's going to take you to the hive once you're at this creepy hive looking place uh you want to go to the left uh and you want to go into this little corridor where you see a bunch of spider like men that look really creepy you just want to you know walk your way past these guys and uh you know not startle them or, or it might seem like you're getting a lot close to these guys but trust me um, i'm pretty sure they won't be able to pull you as long as you're hugging the wall you're gonna go up this ladder uh it's gonna be first ladder that you're gonna go up and then you're gonna have to go up to another ladder make sure you go up that one and then you're gonna walk into the really creepy bright red door once you're in this really creepy bright red door now you're in a really creepy bright red room and you just want to keep straight go past the statue and there's a door that has spider webs looking like it and then it has the green things on the side you just want to walk through there and then there you go you're at the all the glorious place for all of your problems so yeah this is one of the best places that i go to personally whenever i'm looking for diamonds stone blocks comet tails anything like that i go to this spot it's a really good spot it's really easy to get to it drops a lot of reagents uh, all over the place and you can just switch rounds rinse and repeat and you'll end up with a lot of reagents at the end of the day but yeah thank you for watching this video guys i hope that you enjoyed my name is smojo i see you guys on the next one if you have any reagent spots that you personally like let let me know down in the comments let me know what reagents drop at this location how to get this location the name of this location and i'll check it out maybe make a video on it shout you out and everything like that so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did leave that like and i will see you guys in the next one have a great day my name is smojo and peace